This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from Diagostini. If you'd like to build along, pop along to diagostini.com where you can order one for your very own. They also have several other part work build up models that you can build for everything from cars to boats and everything in between. So I'd like to thank them very much for giving me the opportunity to build this so you can all watch and see exactly how it all goes together. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 15 of Building Your Own Ford GT. This is a continuation of the co-pilot door. Uh, co-pilot, co-driver door. Not pilot, not plane, not passenger. Co-driver. Uh, so looking at the magazine first, the Ford Mustang Mark VI Global. Uh, that's got a big front end, doesn't it? That's got a massive, massive nose. Look at the size of that. That's quite scary. It it, it looks aggressive, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll give you that. And um, that's got a bit toned down from that, but yeah. More stylized headlights, different bumpers, new colours, and a touch of engine mechanics. So yeah, okay. Um, again, it's a road car. I know it can be used for other things, but it also wouldn't look out of place. Driving down to the shops, maybe a little bit. Big shops, but yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. Vertical version. Uh, so the co driver door part four. Uh, we're basically putting the inner frame on, like we did last time. We're going to be installing the breath, the cover into the bottom bit and then fitting it in. And that's that. Why well, so many steps and pages for this? I'm not entirely certain, but uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, and well, basically, let's do it now. So let's get with the building. It's not going to take very long. I've got the door from last time oh, and the previous three times as well. Uh, this is the big chunky interior panel as well. Uh, so we're fitting this in there. It just goes on one way around. You can tell which way is which. It's over there. One pin through the bottom bit and one screw through the top bit. And oh, one screw. Get one of those out of there. Go. Through there. Holding that. I'm pretty sure that's sort of like the interior door handle type um, bit where you can just grab it and put it closed. Uh, then we're going to be fitting this to the door itself, remembering to get this hooked underneath that top bit there. Just like that. And everything else should fall into place. The door catch going through there. Everything else covering over. Get the door catch covered right there. We go. That through there, just like that. Actually snaps in place quite securely already, but we need to tighten that up. I just noticed that you might be able to get no, you can't get to that with that. I wondered if you could on the other one, and yeah, it's exactly the same just from the inside. So, uh, yeah, let's get that in place with two of these. Oh, one screw moment. Why have we got more oh ones? Thought that's what they already gave us. Ah, well, we'll, we'll open this one up as well. Have a, what have I got? Maybe opening that up. I've got an oh one there and oh one there. I'll leave that shut. We'll use up the ones the spares from the packets that I've already got this month. Makes things a little bit tidier around here. So the F E I P F D nah, not F D. One of them is an F D and one of them is an F P. Ah, right. We've got different threads. Pay attention. F D. We're going into the metal. F P is we're going into plastic. They've got a and. The metal ones have a narrower thread, basically. I'll put that there so I remember. So I can use one of those. Three, four. Right, no, I don't need one of these out of here, though. But then I've still only got one packet of them loose rather than a packet with two spares in it. So these will go through here. And the other one there to hold this together. And as with the last one, I'm not going to be putting that final bracket in as closure over this until I'm certain that I've got that 
hinge the correct way around. So what I'm going to do is exactly the same. Got this tightened up. Uh, exactly the same as on that one. I'm just going to pop it in place. Mark in place. So I can easily get it apart. So it's not been out of pocket in place. Might even leave it completely off if this one's going to be a bit of a pain. Yeah, that one feels like that's going to be a pain. So I'll just leave that together with it uh, until I know that I've got that the right way around and then I don't have to get it apart again. So that's that. Another door basically complete. Well, I assume it's complete. It's built but much the same as that one is, but opposite. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping that that's all going together nicely and I've got these the right way around. They are the same way around as each other. So I'm fairly confident that I've got it right, but do we know? We don't know. I'll see you soon for the next part. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.